Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take a look at these two radio sound receivers. I actually found both of them on garbage day and at different times. This top one here I found a while back, I was saving it for a video, and I actually came across this one the other day. So it does go to show that they are out there, you can find them. And these are a great source of scrapable material. They are both very heavy and I could actually bring them in as is and get electronic weight price. It's about five cents a pound and each one of these is over 30 pounds. So that is good. However, these are way better opening up and separating the material. Each of them has a great big transformer, a really nice aluminum heat sink, other pieces of copper coil, as well as a tin shell. So I'm gonna make a lot more money taking the time and separating these materials. So what I'm gonna to do today is open one of them up, show you how to identify the material, and more importantly, maximize your profit and divert as much of this away from the landfill as possible. So first thing, I have already gone ahead and removed the outer screws. The screws are gonna go into a container. I do get tin weight price for those. And the top here is, as you can see, if I put a magnet to it, magnetic. And I do wanna address a question I continue to get. What is the difference between steel and tin at a scrapyard? In order for something to be classified as tin or shred, a lot of your items like your outer panels from stereos like this, or your satellite receiver boxes, your outer panel from microwaves, uh, washers, dryers, those are all gonna be tin shred because they are very thin as you can see them, they are magnetic. In order to be classified as steel, the metal has to be thicker than a quarter inch. So it's stuff that is more like structural beams, uh, trampoline poles for example, gas pipes, the big thick uh, pipe pole for that is thicker than a quarter inch. So that's gonna be steel. So this, again, about 10 to 14 cents a pound for tin or shred, depending on where you are. Uh, London, it's a little bit higher, 14 cents. Sarn is about 10 cents a pound. Steel is a couple cents more, usually about 14 to 17 cents a pound. Um, and it does all depend, in my opinion, how much you have, um, how you're gonna separate it. A lot of my loads are predominantly tin. I may have a couple odd pieces of steel, but what I do, because I don't have much, I would put it all into one pile, bring it to the tin uh, or shred pile um, and save myself going to a different hill just for a couple extra pennies. So again, that is your difference, the thickness of it. This is all tin. Uh, and as I said, shred, some scrapyards do not refer to it as shred. I, I have had a lot of people say, what's shred? Uh, again, it's just a classification that some scrapyards have. It's tin or shred, okay? So hopefully that clarifies that. So a lot of tin here. 10 to 14 cents a pound, it all adds up. Inside of here, just gonna quickly show this. Look at the beauties in here. This right here is an aluminum heat sink. This is gonna be very heavy. Gonna give me clean aluminum, about 60 cents a pound for this. I have a beautiful, heavy copper transformer here. So this is gonna have some number two copper inside of it. I have a number of copper spools here you can see that copper i've already kind of opened it up to show you but that's going to be some more number two copper number two copper going for about four dollars and 45 cents a pound i have a small transformer right here that you see hopefully you can see that under the coil here there's a blue one right there okay that's going to have copper in it as well a lot of different wire in here a lot of these circuit boards too are going to have some really nice micro scrapping components, some MLCCs and other items. As well, both of these do have an appliance cord that you see. I have seen, unfortunately, a number of scrappers just go by and take the cords off of different electronics. So these cords are worth scrap value, but again, a lot more from this entire box. This is gonna be classified as 40% appliance wire. Uh, so right now, this is going for about $1.56 a pound. Uh, some people do cut off the brass prongs, put them into brass. Brass right now is going for about $3 a pound. I do that, I have a separate bucket for my prongs. Some people leave it on for the weight, so it does entirely depend on you. 
and how much you have, but both of these 40% appliance wire, it does add up. But again, please, for your sake, don't just take the cord and pass up the rest of it because there is a lot of goodies. And I'm gonna open this one as well. Here again is some more tin shred. But inside this, very, very similar, beautiful copper transformer there. Look at that nice copper ribbon that it has around it. This is another aluminum heat sink, and this is actually gonna be higher value. This one here, because it looks like it's been put through a mold or a press, is going to be classified as aluminum extrusion. Extrusion is your highest form of aluminum you're getting out of the scrapyard. So again, it's any type of aluminum. It looks like it's been put through a press or a mold. Your window screen frames are extrusion. A lot of my heat sinks I talk about. So this right here is actually going for a dollar five a pound right now. And this is probably gonna be about three pounds. So great thing about these aluminum heat sinks, definitely wanna make sure you get those. Here again is some more of your nice copper coil. I have a couple relay boxes in here. So another aluminum heat sink, a smaller one right there. So I am gonna look at this one right now. And I will, for the sake of this video, um, post final weights of things if I don't get to it. Uh, but the first thing I do need to do is remove all of these bottom screws just to start getting at the different circuit boards. So it is gonna be a little bit of time. It is kind of warm in here. We are going through a small little heat wave, in my opinion, uh, for all of my family and friends that love the summer. Uh, I would rather have the winter. Uh, I am whew, one of those types that sweat even at 20 degrees. So give me back the snow. And I know I'm gonna get some comments from people saying, yeah, right, I don't wanna see the snow. But either way, we wanna see the scrap. So gonna finish off my little couple screws. I always have, as I said, a magnet close by. I always put my screws on the magnet, easy to clean up. Okay, but there are my bottom panel. Got a couple more. Gotta make sure you get the screws out of the little wheels there or the little holders. And I don't remove the plastic from these. I leave these in. Scrapyards aren't gonna care if there's a little bit of plastic on my screws. Okay, but I'm gonna just remove. Last panel here. Hopefully this thing is gonna open up. Okay, there we go. Pull that panel off. So a little bit of plastic here. But other than that, I've got some really, really great items that I'm gonna start tackling. There's my Transformer, it's got a couple screws in here. Transformers right now, there are different categories at a scrapyard. You have uh, some that are uh, copper, copper coil, some that are aluminum. So the aluminum ones, a lot of your new microwaves, for example, are gonna be replaced with aluminum coils. You do wanna scratch, don't assume just because it's a new microwave that it's going to be just aluminum because I have seen some newer microwaves that have copper on them. So you always want to check, but all of them are worth something, okay? So again, as I said, this is a nice thin copper ribbon. I just throw this right into my number two. I have inside of here, you can just see some of the wire there. That is gonna be some number two copper once I open this. And for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna open these transformers on camera. I do have a separate video showing you how to open transformers, how to remove the copper. So I will include the video uh, link to that in the description. So if you're interested, go check it out. But again, it's gonna be well worth your time opening this, getting that copper out, instead of just bringing this in. So uh, as transformer weight. The nice thing about this is also is once you remove the copper, uh, the tin shell or the shell is still gonna be tin as well. So this is still 100% scrappable. Okay, want to get this aluminum heat sink. Uh, I am going to just put on some safety glasses just so I can start playing with stuff. There is a lot of cord in here as well. This cord that I'm starting to cut away is actually going to be higher category than the uh, appliance wire that I showed you early. So all of this wire inside of here is actually going to be classified as 60% wire. So Again, rule is one layer of plastic on here. 
Uh, that means that there's more copper recovery. So this right here at 60% appliance wire is going for $2.30 a pound. So almost a dollar more. Uh, these control things, I do cut these off and I will actually throw these into my brass because some scrap yards, if these are on there, they will downgrade you and say that there's too much plastic on that. So in order to avoid that, I do have a container right here of just those plug ends and different uh, plastic coated uh, uh, brass uh, plug ends. And what I'm going to do is an upcoming experiment. A scrap yard will actually pay you about 19 cents a pound for these. Okay, so they're not heavy, but it's definitely better than risking to be downgraded. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. But that's what I do with that. So here again, some really nice 60% appliance wire. Okay, it's going to go to, okay. And this is very dusty inside, so I do have to find the screws, just pulling them out, working at this thing. A lot of dust, as I said. So who knows if this has been in someone's basement for years. Um, but that's okay because, again, I'm just glad to be able to have found this and to be able to divert this away from the landfill and make a little bit of scrap money on this for sure. So I'm going to do my next one here. Again, just start pulling at this. Do, do, do. Okay, a couple little things that I need to pull out. But again, some more wire. Pulling at that. I'm gonna look at these circuit boards here. Okay, there are some valuable items on these circuit boards, given the age especially, um, that some people, if you were into micro scrapping, so these little um, things right here are called capacitors, MLCCs, and these are worth looking at. If you were into micro scrapping, um, there are different styles, there are newer ones, and I have heard that the rule is if they stick to a magnet, then they do not contain palladium. If they don't stick to a magnet, they do contain palladium. So I'm just gonna try one right here. Use a pair of side cutters that I have. Let's see. Okay, there is my little MLCC. And it does not stick. So I have held on to these. I do have a separate bin of these that I'm gonna hold on to. And you can sell these online. People do buy them, um, but that is what I have heard. So I'm not perfectly sure yet, uh, but I do know that that is something that people do look for, as well as these chips. Your circuit boards do have large IC chips like this. There is right here a crystal oscillator. So I do have separate containers for all of these uh, because they do contain precious metal and they are resellable to places like uh, eBay, uh, people will buy them for the, the um, extra parts or the precious metal inside. So I am going to have a separate video, upcoming video, showing you the different things, different values of circuit boards. But I do love these older circuit boards because they tend to contain more of the precious metals. So those are other options if you are into micro scrapping. Okay, I'm going to pull out this circuit board here. I want to get that aluminum heat sink because I do have a scale here that I want to open take out okay and I'm actually just gonna break this and okay, pulling that out there is a couple screws that I'm trying to get the last bit there's a the screw okay I found the screw there it is underneath all that dust one, and there's going to be a one on the other side, hidden behind all that wire. There we go. Hopefully this is going to come out now. I'm looking to see if there's any more hidden screws. There we go. Okay, here we go. Pulling this up. Just going to pull this out. And again, I don't care if I rip it a little bit. The scrap yards are still going to take my circuit boards. Uh, I brought some in that are mangled, some that are unrecognizable. But again, there is still precious metals and value. And again, at five cents a pound, scrap yards aren't going to complain because I'm not getting much for it. But 
I'm gonna look right here at this heat sink here. Notice these little spools of copper that you see there. There's a couple of those. So that again is number two copper. And this right here, every time you have an aluminum heat sink, you do have little prongs, these black prongs you see here. Those are actually also number two copper. So just gonna pull these off. Again, a lot of little pieces of tin as well that I have. I have to make sure in order to get the extrusion weight price for this heat sink, all steel or metal that is not part of that heat sink has to be removed. Okay, so just pulling these pieces off right now. Okay. Oh, this is going to be exciting to see how much this thing weighs. But again, always talk about getting those aluminum heat sinks off of those circuit boards. They do add up. Some of your aluminum heat sinks, for example, on your computer towers also contain a copper ingot inside of them uh, or other pieces of copper. Um, so you do want to make sure you look, okay? But again, this one, as I mentioned, is going to be a form of aluminum as extrusion. And there are different types of extrusion that you're going to find. There is clean like this. Aluminum is uh, metallic looking uh, by nature. But there are some that are painted blacks and greens and gold. So for example, here is one. So this is painted extrusion. Uh, but there is a different category for both. It's about a cent or two more for this one. Uh, does depend on how much you have. But look at that. And I am going to weigh this because I have my scale somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Where's my scale? Is it at the door? Uh-oh. I thought I brought my scale out. Maybe I didn't. Either way. Sorry, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So I am gonna weigh this, uh, and I will post the weight of this on my link. Uh, this again, I'm gonna say probably uh, almost a pound, okay? And there are some, this one is a lot heavier. This I do know offhand is actually 2.3 pounds. So two pounds, three ounces for this. So great source of extrusion here. I have a huge bag of this just from aluminum heat sinks, okay? So great item there. The rest of this, I do want to pull off my copper coils. I do also have, here you go, right there is another extruded piece of, of aluminum heat sink. Again, as I said, these coils here, just going to show you one of these, okay? They are on all of your aluminum heat sinks. And sometimes they are not even connected to your aluminum heat sinks, okay? So see the back of it? Sometimes you can look at the top, it will show copper. Um, sometimes, like you can see the corner there, that is copper. Uh, but just to show you, look at that. So that is copper. Okay, so number two copper. You do not have to remove the plastic from that. You can just leave this as is. I always love to show in my videos this. So this is one of my containers of two. 10 pounds of these prongs. They do add up. And at $4.40 a pound and 10 pounds, there you go. Good payday for that. Okay, so get those prongs. Sometimes, as I said, you will see them just all in black plastic. You will not see the metal on top, but they too are number two plastic. If you broke one with a hammer, you're gonna see a nice piece of copper in there. But a nice thing is you do not have to break them. So number two copper, get that copper for sure. Okay, here again, as I said, there's a couple more MLCCs that I'm gonna get, some coil. This is a relay box that you see right there. There is a spool of copper in there, but the great thing about these is there's also a small dot of silver. So when I open this up, there is gonna be a small dot like that. That little speck you see on there is silver, okay? So that entire button is not silver, but that little smudge is. I will actually just cut these off, put them in a container, okay? So again, you can see the little smudge on there. That is silver, okay? And I have a huge video on places that you can find free silver. I do have people say, well, it's not much. And I agree, it isn't, but it is free silver. 
And if you're gonna be doing micro scrapping and scrapping anyway, it does pay off in the long run. As well, these relay boxes can be sold intact if they do work. And there is always a small coil of copper in there. So I have broken one off, here you go. This is what they look like inside. So even if you do not take the copper off there, sometimes they have copper prongs. There is a spool of number two copper. So it does all add up, okay? And it does depend on the type of scrapper you are. But again, here as well is another aluminum heat sink. They're connected to it. You can see the screw. There is another one of those prongs that attaches to it, number two copper. You have right here too, another piece. I wanna put a magnet to this, but this one right here is non-magnetic, so that's gonna be a piece of clean aluminum, okay? So some of your aluminum heat sinks are clean aluminum. Again, 50 cents a pound for that, okay? And a lot more than I would get for this board. If I was to take this in like this, I'm only getting five cents a pound. So there is a lot more money on this with the spools of copper, the relay box, the clips, and other precious metals. So you do wanna make sure you separate the items, okay? The rest of this box, again, gonna look at it. The bottom is tin, okay? This does have some of my MLCCs. The rest of this board I'm looking at, there's no copper on that, so I'm just gonna separate, get the e-waste price for that, okay? This one, again, same concept. Gotta take the screws out from the bottom, okay? I am also gonna post the uh, weight of this one. I do think this one is heavier, but this one is gonna be classified as clean aluminum because these are all individual fins that have been attached to it. So there are different categories of aluminum, but again, at 50 cents a pound for this, probably about two pounds, gonna make a lot more from separating it than bringing this in as e-waste. Okay, same thing with this transformer. I will post the link to these transformers as well as the little one that you see there. I do have another video showing you these small ones if it's worth opening for that copper. And the answer is absolutely yes. Okay, so couple other items you see, another one of those um, heat sinks. On the bottom here, on two, there are, you can see hopefully one and two. These again are relay boxes, okay? And again, you want to make sure you get these spools of copper. So great items here. I am going to stop it right there because it is rather warm in here. I will include in my video the final weights, okay? But these stereo receivers, you can still find them. People are getting rid of them. Uh, they have finally broken down. Uh, and again, leaving them on the side of the road for scrappers. Uh, and again, unfortunately, if the scrappers weren't there, end up in the landfill. So hope you enjoyed that. Again, get that copper, lots of scrap metal in here. You're gonna get a lot more for, than bringing in whole. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.